What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Lance Archer, the Murder Heart Monster from All Eat Wrestling. And uh, um, today I'm going to unbox my brand new Lance Archer action figure. You know, this is actually uh, my second action figure ever. Um, I had one 15 plus years ago with the TNA Wrestling. Um, it was a Lance Hoyt action figure, and I have a couple of those I'll show you. Uh, they're actually still in the box with the, the black pants variant and white pants variant. Um, this is a pretty cool time in my life, you know, to be able to have action figures and stuff like that. They're pretty well detailed, so it's kind of cool to see what this Lance Archer action figure looks like. Uh, so let's do it, guys. So I haven't even seen it yet. A lot of people have been posting about them online. Uh, they've received them. A few people have actually gotten the Silver Pants variant. Uh, I'm hoping to get a couple of those myself. So who knows what's in this box, we'll see. So this is the box. Uh, thank you, Ring, Ringside Collectibles. Um, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know why this is such a cool thing for everybody, but it is, you know, hey, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, right? So we'll do this. I don't want to waste too much time. You know, my old Lance White one, and I'm not gonna uh, actually take any of those out of the package. Uh, but they were pretty detailed, had some of my tattoos and stuff like that in them. So I'm interested to see how well these are done. Maybe we'll look at a different, uh, a size difference. Uh-oh, all right, here we go. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, unless there's a seventh one underneath this uh, one that's stacked up. So I'll show you what they look like in the box. That's how I got them in the box like this, which is actually kind of cool looking. So I'm pulling out the first one. And there is a seventh one, by the way. So that's cool. Thank you very much for all these. Um, and this is my very first Unrivaled Series 7. This one's actually number 53. The Lance Hoyt All Elite Wrestling action figure. There's the front of the box. There's the back of the box. And uh, that signature right there, guys and girls, if you're getting this, is actually my signature. We were asked to sign... Uh, not the box physically themselves, but we were asked to sign something and the signature was imposed on each and every box. So that is legitimately my signature. So if you're interested in knowing about that, the box is pretty cool. Again, this is number 53 in series seven. Just kind of looking at the difference and stuff. I, I do like the hair, you know, uh, the girl that does my hair. Frenchie is what I call her. She's badass. She's been taking care of me this entire time, even before I joined All Elite Wrestling. Uh, Jolene does the uh, the pants, the gear, and I actually still have these, wore these this weekend. I think if you tune into uh, uh, Dark this evening, or I don't know when this will air, but you know I'm wearing these red and black pants. The boots, uh, a guy named Ray out in San Antonio, Ace Boots, he's the one that does the boots. So this is pretty cool, man. And I'm not usually into opening the physical box because I like to be able to give them away, but I, I'll open one for you guys just so that we can I'm trying to look and see. Oh, this one's actually in the full protection thing. That's pretty cool. I like that. Well, I guess they're all number 53. <laughs> Maybe it's the 53rd actual action figure that they've made. I'm guessing that's the deal, because they all say 52. All right. Yeah, they do. We'll do this real quick before I open up here. So there's a little bit of a side-by-side -side from the two only action figures I've ever had. And this white pants variant of the Lance Hoyt one I think is pretty rare, supposedly. Uh, I don't know what they're charging online. But it's not cheap. Oh, I had a TV monitor. You know, my running joke back in TNA was that, uh, you know, they put something with your action figure. And mine was that um, I was always backstage watching the monitor. So that's why they put a TV monitor with mine. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get any TV monitors in my next <laughs> Lance Archer action figure. Actually, I actually pitched to have a uh, small Fuego del Sol uh, action figure added into mine as the the piece so that I could pretend that I was throwing him through the ceiling so that was uh, an idea that got obviously shot down I'm sure Fuego del Sol will get his own action figure 
And then I can legitimately take my Lance Archer action figure and kick Fuego Del Sol's action figure's ass. All right, guys. So let's let's uh, let's actually open this. I'm gonna try to do this without like wrecking the box too much. Bear with me, guys and girls. Sure, there's other ways to do this, but I'm just gonna do this because I can. I'm a beast, I'm a bad man. I'm sure somebody out there in action figure world's losing their mind right now and how I'm doing this. That's okay, can't kick my ass. Uh, it's funny, I actually got a text message from my old tag team partner, Kurt Hawkins, Brian Myers, and uh, he sent me a picture of the action figure that he already had, it was before I had mine. I was like, son of a bitch, how'd you get one before I did? He just kind of laughed. He's like, because I can. All right, there we go. That's it. As you can see, I don't do this very often. So. There's no need to be so nice. So we'll just rip into this. And there it is. So... they don't break it <laughs> okay cool i hope they're kind of durable considering uh kids are gonna be playing with these things so that's pretty cool like i said the hair <laughs> the hair is pretty cool that's one of my favorite things is is the hair just because it's kind of become a staple the murder hawk as it is who knows how long that'll last looking at the face the face is pretty good i like that I got a big nose. It's got a big nose, so that works. Looking at some of the detail here. It's pretty cool. The tattoos are pretty spot on. I'm sure that's hard as heck for them to do just because it's all very smallly painted on and stuff. I'm sure you can't read the writing on the back. I'm not sure, but if you can, that's pretty cool. I'm not shy about my faith. I believe in God and Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior, and I will not ever be shy about that. I'm never going to be crazy pushy about it. And if you want to ask, I'll definitely talk to you about it. But your choice, your beliefs, these are my choice and my beliefs. And that's what the uh, writing is. It's scripture that's on the back of my arms and big cross with the the crucifixion scene. The scene at Calvary is, is basically what the tattoo on my back is. Um, you know, I adjusted the lower piece which had a uh, fun nickname in the past, and I would just say it was my champ stamp. And, uh, but this is, to me, like I said, this has more meaning because it represents the three crosses. The big one in the middle represents the cross that Christ was on, died, and rose from the dead, and saved our sins. Saved us from our sins. And, you know, the other two crosses were the, uh, the thieves, that one he saved and one went on to other places. So, anyway, but that's just me. Your choice, your faith, whatever. The pants are really cool. Jolene, she does them. The detail on here is pretty cool. I believe it does say Murder Hawk Monster. So the guy that was uh, <laughs> reviewing them and just said Murder Monster, it says Murder Hawk Monster, bro. Murder Hawk Monster is just a fun mythical creature that goes around and kills everybody because you know what? Everybody dies. The boots are pretty dang spot on. I like that. Ray does a damn good job with the boots. They use the red boots with the black covers on here. I've been sporting the black boots with the black covers more recently. This is pretty cool. Like I said, the belt the belt has the rivets in it, which is cool. It's like the belt I wear. I don't know if this review's uh, as cool as other people's reviews, but it's the review from the man himself, Lance Archer, the Murderhawk Monster. This is my very first uh AEW action figure my second ever to have um I was supposed to be on the line <coughs> in the other company and then things happened things changed and it didn't come out that would have been kind of cool to have one in three different companies but it is what it is so here we go guys all elite wrestling 
Series 7 Unrivaled Collection. Lance Archer, the Murderhawk Monster. Go out and get yours today, and maybe you'll get lucky and get that Silver Pants variant. All right, guys. This will be up on my YouTube. Check it out. Follow me. Hit me up. If you got something cool to say, I'll reply. If you don't, I won't. But uh, take it easy, guys. Oh, this is my office. Later.